Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on the Wound Up channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you my latest purchase. Uh, this watch is a Tudor watch. It's a Tudor that is not very popular actually. And to be honest with you, I don't understand why because it is such a beautiful watch and such a capable and versatile watch. And when I saw it in person, I just had to pick it up. So I bought this watch for my birthday. So it's kind of a birthday uh, present to myself. And uh, yeah, it's a Tudor. And in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the watch and I'm going to give you my first impressions of it and kind of the thought process that went into purchasing this specific watch. Um, so what am I wearing today? Well, today I am wearing my Seiko SBDC 065, which I have reviewed and unboxed on the channel before. So if you're interested in this watch, please feel free to check those videos out. Now let's get into this box of my new watch. And there you go, the red Tudor box. So first impressions, it is quite a hefty box, which is always great. And then we have, all right, so here we have the instructions manual for these three lines, the Clarity Rose, which which is obviously not the model because, well, I'm not a woman, uh, the Glamour and the Classic. And I bought this watch from Engstrom's Umakeri in uh, Jönköping, Sweden. And inside of here, I have my receipt for the purchase and also my, my uh, one year free um, insurance for this watch. And here we have the black and red Tudor box. So this box is extremely similar to Rolex's green box in terms of its weight and its dimensions. I think the main difference is just the color scheme and all that because otherwise it looks very, very similar to the Rolex box. Uh, but I do have to say this black and red color scheme of this Tudor box is a whole lot more fitting of the Tudor brand because it's a whole lot more modern and uh, I guess you could say a little bit more youthful. So here we have the box, simple black kind of leather-esque box with the Tudor logo and some red details around the side. So let's open it up. And there we have my new watch. So as you can see, it's a Tudor Glamour date day with the reference number M. 56,000 comes on a bracelet and this one has the black dial and of course the date the date and the day complication so let's just put this watch to the side and here we have my hanging tag on the other side of this tag there is my serial number and here we have my link pieces and up here and in here you'll find the guarantee um, booklet and also my certificate. And here you can see the reference number of the watch. Okay, so now I'm just gonna change the lens on the camera so we can get a little bit closer to the watch. And there we have her, my new watch. And I do have to say, I am incredibly impressed with this Tudor watch. It is great. So. What are its specifications? Well, the basic ones are this. Um, it is 39 millimeters in diameter, uh, which I think is a fantastic size. In terms of its thickness, the watch is just 10.8. Um, in terms of its lug to lug distance, the watch is 46.5, which is also a great size. Uh, the lug width is actually quite an unusual, I think 21, which is a little bit annoying, I do have to say, but that's the way it is. Yep, it's 21. So, the watch. We have a black uh, lacquer dial, which is just incredible. Um, we have applied indices, applied logo here. We have the old school curved uh, rotor self-winding text at the bottom, which is of course hinting at the fact that this watch is housing an ETA movement. 
We have loomed hands, although we do not have any loom on any other spot on this dial. We have the day complication here at 12 o'clock, of course, and the date here at 3. Of course, with no cyclops, as you can see. We have a signed crown, a screw down crown, which is great. And this watch has 100 meters of water resistance, which makes it a very versatile watch, as it's going to be totally fine in terms of taking this to the pool or something like that. Inside of this watch, I think there is an ETA 2836-2. And in terms of what Tudor has done to it, I'm sure they have purchased the top grade movement and they have regulated this watch to a high degree. And they have also done some basic, some basic finish work on the movement. So while it is an ETA movement, it is a top of the line, top grade version of the 2836. Which of course means it's going to hold up very well. It's going to keep time very well. And it's going to be very easily serviceable in the future, which is pretty much everything that I look for in a watch movement. The bracelet of this watch is very interesting. We have polished uh, center links. And this kind of pattern, I guess you could say, is very similar of some Breitling uh, bracelets that I like a lot. And so this watch's uh, bracelet definitely spoke to me uh, when I saw it in the store. I think it looks great. It has uh, screwed links, of course. Um, it does have Tudor's um, kind of uh, ceramic balls here for uh, locking the clasp, which is great. And I do love that it's kind of an integrated look. We have the Tudor shield here on the safety uh, fold over part of the clasp. And then we have this part here that we can uh, lift up on. And we have a typical clasp. The only thing that's missing here is some kind of a micro adjust but Tudor has kind of compensated in terms of that, so they do give you um, quite a few half links, which is great. On the back of the watch, we have the typical Rolex and Tudor affair, meaning not a whole lot going on on the back here. As you can see, the case shape is quite different from most watches, actually. Um, I don't really know how to describe this case, but I guess you could just look at it. <laughs> it is uh, quite a unique, but a very, very good looking case, I do have to say. So yeah, this is my new watch. I really like it. Uh, when I was searching for a new watch for my birthday, um, what I was looking for is basically a, a kind of a hybrid sport slash uh, dress watch. So a go anywhere, do anything watch. So I was looking for a watch that had a design that will hold up for a long time. I wanted the size to be smaller than 41 and larger than 36. And this is somewhere in the middle of that, which is great. I wanted to have a screw down crown with 100 meters of water resistance, which this watch obviously has. And um, yeah, so this watch in terms of this purchase, it ticks all the boxes for me. And I do love the way it looks and feels, the size, uh, the proportions, it's just perfect. And it feels so good to wear on the wrist. So uh, with that said, let's put this watch on my wrist and I'll show you how it wears. And here is the watch on my 19.5 centimeter wrist. I think it just fits me perfectly. It is incredibly comfortable on the wrist. The height is just perfect. The width of the case, also just perfect for an everyday watch. And the bracelet is just beautiful. The kind of hitting uh, clasp here also looks fantastic. And overall, I am very, very happy with my new watch. So uh, what do you guys think about this new watch of mine? Please do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and would like to see more like it. And with that said, I'll see you in my future videos. Bye-bye.